Welcome to Unscripted Coding. Today, we're going to be looking at the product Spellbook by Rally. Now, I know it's legal technology. Not a lot of people have heard about it. But the cool, interesting aspect of it is that it uses GPT-3 or OpenAI to create this tool. So we're going to be seeing how close we can get with just plain OpenAI Playground. How close can we get to this effect? And I think you're going to be shocked that there really isn't too much fine-tuning for legal, that OpenAI is actually very capable. Now, I am a lawyer by trade, and so I see a lot of these contracts, and I hear a lot of times that our profession's immune for the next decade or so. Nobody, no, no AI can write a contract, and I just don't think it's true. This very simple tool... Uh, will spit out the next sections in a contract. Now, it's not today they're going to replace me, but I don't think it's as far as some people tend to believe. So, we're going to look at this and see what's done. Um, they have a nice tutorial video here, and I'm just going to skip to a relevant part here. What they're doing is they have a long contract, and what they're going to do is put in a, a header and ask OpenAI or GPT-3 to complete the rest of it, okay? And you'll see, it's hardly perfect. They, they remove the first one, but what I wanted to show you is right here. Limitation, hmm, frustrating. Um, at the bottom right here, limited liability that's not even related and they threw in a whole bunch of other sections that's not related what you want is this little section right here and so what I'm gonna do is go on OpenAI and say um, let's just be very generic legal contract um, provisions and we'll put in 3.3 .3 return or destruction of data. Return and can and and destruction of customer data. Okay, and we're gonna see what's going to pop out next. I gotta say, that's pretty good. So you see within 30 days following the effective date. Um, oh, sorry, let's just uh, go through this. Uh, property goes to the uh, other person. Uh, following termination, they're gonna make available to customer a file and then they may receive it, blah, blah, blah. If they want a hard copy, they'll pay for it. And then afterwards, they have no obligation to retain it. This is actually a really decent attempt. This one you can see kind of similar language. It's a it's a bit shorter, but uh, upon request of customers made 30 days um, of such termination, blah, 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 um, they can export or retrieve it. And then afterwards, there's no obligation to keep it, blah, blah, blah. So similar language. And we can run this again. Yep much shorter customer requests destruction um we will comply so uh, a bit of the context might help i think this one is probably more accurate but you can delete it and try again and again open ai charges pennies for these so you can you can run it a few times to find what you like oh i like this one too Okay, next feature. Uh, they have text summary. Um, I actually pulled up a contract beforehand. This is from Y Combinator, but uh, 
GPT-3 has always done a really good job of summarizing. So I, I have no doubt that this will work very well as well. Summarize the following. Okay, we're gonna go. Kind of a, I actually, that's not, that's not bad. Um, but, I don't think this is accurate at all. Oh, actually, no, I lied. I was wondering where this US taxes are and, um, 30 days of actually that is not bad at all so it caught the 30 days 30 days uh, I'm not sure where the 60 went there was a 60 in here incorrect if the company chooses customer unpaid invoices so there's nothing about if there's something wrong here but uh, maybe the prompt isn't great summarized summarize in three sentences. There we go. So the major point is if the customer's use of the service exceeds the capacity, will be billed for additional fees, blah, 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 must pay within 30 days. And then it ignored all the minutia about unpaid taxes, all of those things. So I think that's pretty good. All right, we're gonna, oh, uh, we'll go back. Explain it to a five-year-old, that's pointless. Um, it's a contract. Points to negotiate. This was one that I thought was very interesting. If you have a long contract and you ask whether what to negotiate, I think Spellbook is overreaching a little bit. I have a hard time believing OpenAI is able to um, to to uh, make that kind of determination but let's let's throw in a larger section here well we'll take two sections just to keep my costs relatively low in the following excerpt excerpt i can't spell um the points we should negotiate are, and let's let's try this. Ah, that's not bad. And let's see what they had. I would negotiate the length of the contract. I would negotiate the service capacity. Um, I would negotiate the implementation fee. So I think they have a decent enough answer. I I don't know how accurate. I think they might have gotten lucky, but let's try this one more time. Hmm. I think it might be too long. Let's let's come here. In the following legal document excerpt the points we should negotiate, uh, the provisions we should negotiate are, and we will remove this and submit it again. Fees for the service, length of the initial term, the method of payment, I think this is pretty good as well. Um, this is a decent summary, but these are the most unreasonable provision we should negotiate is, and let's see if it picks this one up. The provision that states that the customer must pay the full amount due on their invoice within 30 days in order to avoid a finance charge. This is unreasonable because it does not give customer enough time to pay the invoice in full. Uh, I don't disagree. The, the whole point of the Y Combinator contract is that it is fairly balanced. Any one of these would have been reasonable. And if I had to pick one as well, I probably would pick the same one. But let's 
see this one, see, it would have changed. And, and these would have all seemed amazing to whatever lawyer is running this for the first time. All right, let's see. Okay, they just did one more thing. Anyways, um, what I wanted to do here was just to show you guys that you can pop this in and with the right prompt on OpenAI, you can get very, very incredible results. And what I was thinking of doing is just creating an interface to do the exact same thing. Uh, I, I would hate to have this built into Word, but um, just uh, take taking the code that um, that OpenAI has already provided for you, tuning it uh, a little bit, and throwing it onto one of my APIs or something would be very handy, actually. So um, Spellbook charges, uh, well, right now they're, they're early phase, and I think they are early access, but they are charging for this product, and I'm surprised. Um, and I don't think a lot of people realize just how many opportunities there are just to put a little wrapper on top of OpenAI to start selling um, basically OpenAI in a different brand. So um, I hope that was interesting. There's a bit of legal text. I know that's not super interesting, but I wanted to show you guys that it is very surprisingly capable of... Um, of, of answering some basic questions about contracts and drafting some provisions. Auto renewal, very good. Um, and, and it could keep suggesting. And for me, you know, it doesn't replace a lawyer, but um, when I'm in the workplace, this would be great. You don't know how many times I've had a block just because I can't remember the name, I didn't know how to start, I didn't remember a term, I wanted to use a Latin phrase, whatever it may be. And just having OpenAI spit a couple of ideas to me would help a lot. So um, I hope that was helpful. Um, and. Uh, I hope that was interesting. We might build on top of this um, in another video, depending on uh, whether I have other ideas or are inspired to do so. But uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.